Hello everyone, it's Bleakborn, and I got a little update video for you guys today. I wanted to show you guys the growth of my outdoor bonsais, the three seeders, and the uh, white pine. I want to show you guys how much they've grown over the course of the summer. I still don't think I'm going to do any trimming this year, or at least not for a little while longer, but let's jump into it. I'll start with my newest bonsai. I actually dug up halfway through the summer. It was in a power line, and uh, you can kind of see that it got some... Uh, broke off a couple roots and you can see that it's kind of getting some die back but it's got some new green here and there so I think it'll do fine I'm not gonna touch it for a while um, but it's got a cruel crazy you know curvy body there so I, and it's gonna be a cool one eventually but uh, I'm gonna let it grow for a while um, that's I'm gonna call it the the I, it kind of looks like a person like bending over and that's like their hair so I'm gonna call that the bending man <laughs> um, on to the other cedar this guy my bird's nest broom handle whatever you call it um, it's still tied to the rock still letting it get some good roots into the substrate there and uh, it's still such a wild looking cedar I haven't I can't decide how I want to style it in the future I kind of like it as it's fallen off a cliff but I want it to grow get really established into the t the the soil and see how it looks in a little while on to my one that I got first this year um, it's kinda doing pretty okay it's still getting a little bit of too much sun still burning off a little bit but it's still staying pretty okay overall um, I'm not gonna do any more cutting on it for a while because I think I did a little too much. Hey, there's Danny Long Legs right there. A little too much cutting too early on, and then the, the bunch of freezes we had, it kind of had some uh, has some catching up to do still. But the white pine, I was really surprised how well it is doing. Like, look at all that new growth. And it's like doubled its trunk size this summer. So I'm really excited about that little guy. He'll be a pretty cool one in the future. Um, and then my other one, you know, I don't have another one. <laughs> but uh, I will show you a couple other ideas I have going on for next spring whenever um, the best time to pull bonsais out of the dirt is. So hold on. So this is the willow um, that's growing out by my garage here. And it's kind of, um, I ended up doing a big solid trunk shop there earlier this spring and it just got a ton of new growth sprouting out all over the place so I might my plan is with this one is to turn this one into one I just really like the top of it so I really don't want to cut that yet because it looks pretty cool but it's a little too big so my thought is I will do a couple more trimmings before the end of the year here and then I'll dig it up in the spring and plant it in a pot and I think it'll look pretty darn cool for a kind of a natural little I believe it is a diamond willow it could be just a willow I'm not too sure um, the leaves are a little bigger than most willows I have in my backyard so I'm not sure on that one so yeah it's got a fairly big trunk it's actually got some diamonds so I'm pretty sure it's a diamond willow but there's that one so this is my last option I want to do I might do a video of me trying to get it out of the roof but I call this my roof birch as you can see it is a birch tree that is growing out of the roof of my shed. And I might do some good trunk chops on there before the season's up, but it could be pretty cool looking um, little grove or something, you know, the, the three different main branches. So I kind of like that one. I'm gonna let it be, and not probably dig it out till the spring, but it needs to get out of my roof anyways. So that is my roof birch. And uh, yeah, so those are my Bonsais, the outdoor bonsais, none of my indoor ones. My indoor ones have had plenty of growth. I'll have to do a video showing those guys off soon. But there you guys have it. This is Bleak Born, and thank you guys for watching.